Hey, this is Nola Ade, and you are now rocking with Il McKenzie, right here. Yo, what up, world? This your man, 504 Detroit. And you already know, every Tuesday and every Thursday, I'm tuning in to the hottest radio station across the land, Quarantine Radio. They push it down, and they play all the hottest new music. Let's get it. Yo, what's up, man? It's the kid, Swift, a baby, young Swift. One time for the check-in with my dog, my homie, Il McKenzie, straight out of ATL, Georgia. And you know how we rocking out here, baby. Let's get it. Humble, humble getting no respect. All right, all right, all right, all right. It's your boy, I Dub, once again with another edition of Quarantine Radio. Um, tonight on the show, we have um, Mosa Flux. Um, she's, going, she's on her way um, in a few. Just to give you all a little update on what's going on with Quarantine Enterprise and Quarantine Radio. Um, like I said, we, we, we're doing a lot of updates on the website. Make sure you go check out the website, QuarantineEnterprise.com. You can also register on QuarantineEnterprise.com as well. We're looking for bloggers for the um, blog page. If you remember QuarantineRadio.com, um, I used to always have blogs talking about any any anything of your passion. I'm looking um, – before I only had sports bloggers, but I, any anything that you are passionate about, you want to blog about, hit me up at info at QuarantineRadio.com. And we can um, work on as far as getting you on the um, actual. My bad, I'm missing on with these lights. But um, getting you on there, talking about whatever you want to um, go about and stuff like that. Um, also, you will see the sponsor page. Anybody that wants to be a sponsor of Quarantine Radio, um, as you see behind me, um, we have the um, place where you can actually put your banner back there. And also on the wall over there as well. So if you try and be a sponsor, go to the sponsor page. You'll see all the sponsor packages as far as the platinum where you actually get to put a banner in the showroom. Or you can just have a banner on the website, have a little intro, an ad or whatnot on um, on the show or a commercial, whatnot. All the packages is up on there. So make sure you go check out um, QuarantineEnterprise.com. See exactly how you can get involved. Also, you'll see all my video work up on there underneath the portfolio. Um, the photograph right now it just has my um, my Insta my Instagram quarantine vision dot um, qu- at quarantine underscore vision for Instagram has all those pictures up on there. I'm going to work on where I can actually post up all the pictures that I've taken on there so you can actually see each category of what I'm doing and stuff like that. Um, we're going to have the packages of um, uh, photography work and stuff like that. So we're working on the on the web page, working on the web page, working on the web page. Just stay tuned. Um, we're gonna. Um, I'm gonna actually be playing a little bit of um, some new music, some old music. I got just got a couple um, tracks in my um, library. Um, so I'm gonna try to um, see what I can um, play some of this new music that I've gotten. But um, while we're waiting on our guest tonight, we're gonna um, kick it off. First track, um, Chris Kelly. Featuring Rick Ross with uh, me and you. If y'all remember um, back in the day, back on Blog Talk Radio, we actually had an um, interview with her. But uh, here's Chris Kelly with me and you. Chris Kelly with me and you. Big boss, Rick Ross. Big belly, wood boy, true pink this. Zin? Zin? She was a fan before the articles. Rolling Stone covers met her at a carnival. Tattoo sleeves looking like a bike gang. Sightseeing coming through in that new white thing. Pick up a friend and go right with the big belly boy. Peas and rice champagne at the hell apart. You want chat, but me really want to see a twerk. Put on your square, baby girl, now show me what you're worth. Dawn, all I seek is the knowledge. Illuminated, so I'm not speaking college. Eight figures coming straight up out the projects. Black power, black dollars in my pocket. On my hips like I MC him. Show me up to all the girls like I'm with him. Let me all around the world, now we back again. I'm a pretty little thing that'll compliment you. Can't nobody, can't nobody, can't nobody, can't nobody, Champagne, black bottle, champagne, yeah. 
I just still wishing that she stars, bro. Yeah. Eating to the money, yeah, it's all for us. Uh. I'ma get the bread and no letting up. Money. I'ma get the bread and no letting up. I just still wishing that she stars, yeah. bro. Hey. Eating to the money, yeah, it's all <laughs> for us. I'ma get the bread and no letting no. up. No. I'ma get the bread and no letting up. Roll a doobie up, yeah. smoke that now. Walk into the jewelry store, I need my diamonds right now. Can't change a thing. I tell them haters pipe down. Make them just wanna fuck. I need some right now. Money got me crazy. I can't lie. I'm believing I can fly. Want a girl? I look like Keisha Cole with a body right. Smoking, drinking way too much. I made some changes in my life. Turning water into spray. Man, it ain't even right. Hey, I, 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 I. Get this money, let it stay. Hey, I, 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 I. Get this money, let it stack, ayy. I just feel fixing that she stars, bro. Yeah. Getting to the money, yeah, it's all for us. Uh. I'ma get the bread and no letting up. Money. I'ma get the bread and no letting up. I just feel fixing that she stars, yeah. bro. Yeah. Getting to the money, yeah, it's all <laughs> for us. I'ma get the bread and no letting no. up. No. I'ma get the bread and no letting up. Test all on my body, swear I'm feeling naughty. Oh, I just want to oh. smooth drinking party. Get it started. Hey. Bed always rocking like the crowd at Coachella. Oh, wanna f? They say y'all my handsome fella. Put up on the gas and I ain't letting up. I just wanna feel it drunk. Smoking hella loud till I'm feeling like my face is stuck. Girl, you know you're so fine to me. I just wanna rock your body till you fall asleep. Hey, I, 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 Get this money, let it stack. Hey, I, 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 I. Get the money, let it stack. Hey. I just feel fixing that she starts, bro. Yeah. Getting to the money, yeah, it's all for us. Uh. I'ma get the bread and no letting up. I'ma get the bread and no letting up. I just feel fixing that she starts, yeah. bro. Hey. Getting to the money, yeah, it's all <laughs> for us. I'ma get the bread and no letting no, up. No. I'ma get the bread and no letting up. Smooth. Shout out Floss B, man. Baby, you stay on my mind. Uh. 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 Tropical drinks and fine minks. Sitting right over the Cuban links. She love it cause it's real. She always did love the way it feels. And she always will. I pulled up with some dawn and some crushed ice. Back rubs for a dawn off a tough flight. Tell me she hate it when I'm gone, she can't sleep at night. And by the time the bottle gone, we done up twice. She a keeper, so I keep her in. Up all that talking from the people, I don't sleep with them. But she hope I don't forget about her in and out of town. Black lace gown, she just want to hold her looking down. I love it, 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 yeah. Baby, you stay on my mind, I wouldn't mind giving you all of my time. Uh, president suites and first class seats. Gourmet sweets, bon appetit. Whenever it's her and me in the sheets, don't have to speak. Catch us on the Sunset Beach for two weeks, huh? Fly away, take this here to a... I love it, I love it, it don't matter what the people say, I'm gonna love you anyways, as long as I'm with you, no complaints, it don't matter what we do, I love it, 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 you got me going crazy, just thinking about you lately.
think it's cool to have a man and a side and a wife. Oh, no. Let me make it myself real clear. I'm the only one you need in your life. I'm gonna give you all of me. I wanna have all of you. I don't wanna share with the world. And I know what I deserve as your girl. I'm the only one you want. Show me that it's okay to give in. Tell me I'm the only one.
your girl most the flux with an announcement to make. You're sick of all you phonies. I need you to give me space. Have you ever had a hater not give you three feet? Tell them, dame espacio, to all you Facebook stalkers. Tell them, dame espacio, to all you bugaboos. Tell them, dame espacio. Stay out my face. Stay out my face. If you're trying to play, please not today. Dime espacio. Give me space. Space. Give me room to breathe. Stay out my face. Stay out my face. Dime espacio. Give me space. Give me space. Give me room to breathe. Stay out my face. Stay out my face. I need three feet. Uh-huh. I need my room to breathe. I need my space. I need my room to eat. I'm getting money. I'm stacking to my knees. No asking questions. I need my privacy. I got some goonies. You know they ride for me. It's La Familia. If it's a rivalry, you run your mouth. We'll put that ass to sleep. I got that real shit deep down inside of me. You haters wishing that you could ride for me. But no fugazis. Uh-uh. I am a cavalry. We turning up. Out in these rally streets I'm on a mission So give me space to breathe These motherfuckers think I'm playing But they not gonna test what you think I'm saying Been getting this guap, been getting this dope And ain't a damn thing change I'm a real ass woman So when you see me, I'ma always act the same I'm a real ass chick, so diamond spot Yo, when you hear my name I've been getting money Getting cake Getting cake Give me room to breathe Give me space Give me space Diamond spot, yo Stay out my face Stay out my face if you're trying to play, please not today. Diamond Spacio, give me space. space. Give me room to breathe. Stay out my face. Stay out my face. Diamond Spacio, give me space. Give me space. Give me room to breathe. Stay out my face. Stay out my face. Stay out my face, yo. Stay out my face. These motherfuckers so damn trite. They invaded my life. They invaded my space. I need a break. You phony fake. They perpetrate, they getting money, but they ain't. My crew's a wild one, cause I'm a wild one. Who gives a fuck as if it's something to be proud of? See, I don't fuck with strangers, cause that's a different story. Might leave you horror movie fucked up, looking gory. I'm on some other shit. You must be talking to that other chick, cause I'm not the one that you should be fucking with. My Goonies body shit, leave you in the dumpster quick. We had a sticky situation, but we had it. Sometimes it's real good, sometimes it's real gritty When you're fucking with them boys from the trap city Cause we don't fuck around, we hope you fuck around It'll more than likely leave you fucked up in your own town I've been getting money, getting cake, getting cake. Give me room to breathe, give me space, give me space. Diamond spice, yo, stay out my face, stay out my face. If you're trying to play, please not today Diamond spice, yo Give me space, space. Give me room to breathe. Stay out my face. Stay out my face. Diamond spice, yo. Give me space. Give me space. Give me room to breathe. Stay out my face. Stay out my face. Give me space. Give me room to breathe. Stay out my face. Give me room to breathe. Diamond spice, yo. Stay out my face, nigga. Yeah. Stay out my face. Diamond, diamond, diamond spice, yo. Diamond. Dame, dame espacio, dame, dame, dame espacio, give me space, give me room to breathe. I, 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 I think I like we're that back, one. We're back, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. Um, that was our guest tonight. I'm gonna let her introduce herself before we get into the interview. Hey. How you doing tonight? I'm doing good. It's your girl, Mosca Flux, Flex with it. I, I, I. So, um, um. I'm. Slu- I was looking over your um your bio and everything, and you're not originally from America and everything. Um, when did you actually uh, move down to um America? When did I come to America? Yeah. Like the movie? <laughs> <laughs> um, I was actually four years old when I came to the U.S. Um, okay. I was, I was a little girl, but this is home for me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but, you know, my my culture, my home, still absolutely resonates with me. I am bilingual. I do speak Spanish. 
Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that's what I was about to ask you is um, exactly like how does your culture actually um, incorporate into your music and how do you actually intertwine that into your music? Well, you know, I got some songs like you just heard Dame Espacio, you know, so I throw a little Spanish in there here and there. But as far as my, my like back home culture, like I'm from Panama, so Panama is like a melting pot, just like the U.S., so we're a mixture of like different cultures in itself. So it's not like I was raised to, you know, have certain beliefs of certain ways. I believe in God, you know what I'm saying? So America wasn't really like a big change like that. It's not it's not far from, you know, from what we have back home. It's still it's still city, it's still everything else just like that. So I'm very Americanized in other words. <laughs> I, I, yeah, because I, I know that with um, some artists and everything, like um, getting into like different cultures or different styles of um, the country and everything, it kind of um, expands their um, self musically and everything. Yeah. Um, and like you said, that you can um, touch on the Hispanic side and stuff like that. And um, like, have you done a whole track in um, Spanish? No, not yet, but I am working on that because <laughs> I, I definitely want to take advantage of that, you know. Like any song, um, reggaeton or anything. You know, I got family that does reggaeton and stuff, and I and I'm not as as you know, I'm not an expert now. You know, in the reggaeton area, you know, so I'm, I'm you know so Americanized. I'm a femcy. I've been rapping in English so long. I throw a few Spanish words in there, but all the way in Spanish, I haven't tested those waters yet. But I'm going to. Okay, 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 okay. So, like, when did you actually know that um, music was your passion and that you had to embrace it and get into, like, the industry and stuff like that? You know what? Um, music for me has always been a love since I was a little girl. Like, you know, my dad was a DJ. Um, you know, my uncles, they were all in a band. They're still in a band to this day. Like, everybody in my family just naturally has a love for music. So it was inevitable. And I, I think probably by, like, the age of 12, um, I started freestyling and even at that moment through all those years when I was a teenager and I was rapping you know out on the street you know how you do in a little site business yeah. trying to battle with the boys or whatever I can hang but um, you know I, I didn't know how how serious the business side of it could be you know what I mean um, back then you know you just you just was you, you just expressed yourself that's that's what hip-hop was you, it was just a form of expression and as I got older I learned to actually uh, you know format music you know when I started to learn to format music and make you know m make 16 bars and then make my hooks and then another 16 bars and actually concoct so um, songs together like that's when I knew I was serious. <laughs> yeah, that that's one thing. Like, um, like a lot of people, like, um, you know, the, um, the freestyles and everything, and then like, um, like formatting, like you said, formatting a song, understand what sixteen bars is, and then uh, hooks and stuff. So, so, like, what is your actual writing process? Are you one of those people that you have to be in a room by yourself, or do you write first and then get the beat, or you get the beat first and then write? You know, um to answer that question I have evolved um, I think I think with every MC they can agree with this that that the way you write evolves with time I am still that person that wants to be by herself when she writes like they say your, your, your realest self is when you're by yourself you know what I'm saying so me and four walls by myself is my best friend because that's when my realest expressions are really gonna come out um, Either I'm in the room by myself or I'm actually just driving in my car listening to a beat. So I got to have the beat first. So I get the beat first. And most of the time I'm, I'm on the go. And I used to sit down and write in my notepad. But now I'm so on the go that I've learned to actually just write in my mind. So I just recite. As I create bars, I just recite the bars in my head over and over again until I remember them. And then I just add more to it, add more to it. And before I know it, I've completed the song. So, so that's what I've evolved to now. <laughs> okay, so you just memorize your lyrics and everything. So yeah. you're not one of those people that um, take out the smartphone. And nope, <laughs> not no more. I mean, I never wrote in the phone. I always was true to the pen and pad. I was yeah. so true to the pen and pad. Um, but you ain't always got a pen and pad. You yeah. know, when you're riding and stuff, I don't, I don't have time to necessarily sit down for like an hour or two and sit in the studio and, and write. You know, and I don't like to just show up at a studio and create something. I want to already have it down. I want to have my swag together and everything, how I'm going to say it, what my ad-libs are going to be. That's so to the point where I've got to memorize, like, you know, I already know the song. You know, and I get in there, lay it down. It's one take and we done. 
And I, I know that um, I talked to a couple of engineers, and they actually like that when um, a yeah. person actually know, already knows <laughs> knows what they want. Because like yeah. m- most of the time, like that, that that's um money, anyways. Because like you sit in there, don't know what you're doing and stuff like that. You that's running money. the clock. That's and right. And everything. That's right. And then if you actually have somebody that's um busy and everything, like they might have somebody book for a negative hour and you didn't even finish your song. So, right. So yeah, that that is um good to always have your um stuff together and everything. And another thing that you have mentioned is about um learning the business side and everything. Like when did you actually start it getting involved into the business side? You know what? I'm I'm probably saying in the last three to four years, um, as far as the business side, I started to learn to um you know, register my music, little things like that. Now, at, at this stage in my career, it's, it's on a whole nother level. Like, you know, um, you know, you got to get everything copyright. I mean, it's money. It, it's a lot of money that you got to invest in yourself. But um, I'm learning how, how things work on a commercial level now um, versus back then I was just learning how to, you know, just um, – put my things online and make sure that they weren't able to steal them from me, in other words. Mm. Um, But now this side of the business, um, this is the marketing side, I would say, that I'm starting to embark on and people are are teaching me what sells and and what's really a hit, you know what I mean? So it's a whole nother level. (laughs) It's a whole nother level. So you have all... Frustrating at times, but, you know, it's a whole nother level and it's all right. So um, basically, like when you have your um, your music in there, and you have listening sessions and everything. Have a group of people that you actually listen before you actually release to the public. Yeah, um, I, I I actually have an entire team that I get their opinion from them, and then ultimately my management. I have to get the okay from them, and and it's and it's it's new for me because um, you know when you when you love your music and you've been doing what you want to do for so long, mm. ain't nobody gonna tell you nothing. <laughs> You can't tell me what I can do or how to do it or how to finesse my track. But, you know, if you want to really be successful, you know, if you really want to win, you got to learn to listen. You got to learn to follow in order to lead as well. So Mm -hmm. and it's like I've been leading myself so long, you know, and managing myself so long that when I finally got some legit management, it was like okay, now I don't understand how this works, you know, why are you telling me what to do? You know, I'm used to telling me what to do, but I know it's all for the good because they know what ultimately sells. They know, you know, what these A&Rs want to hear. They know how to get me a deal and how to package me the right way. So, you know, they're they're pulling, they are pulling me in so many different directions. Um, and, and And it's a good thing because you learn yourself on a different level and you amaze yourself because, you know, out of this, you know, I, I started to create a whole new sound, you know, and I don't sound the same. I'm not enunciating things the same. I, I'm taking my swag on a, a whole different angle, you know, and, and sometimes, you know, you, you might lay a verse down and they're like, you know, no, go do it again. I'm like, what? <laughs> again? You know, so, it, you know, it, it's hard work. The, the business is no game. It, it's, it's no joke. Yeah, because I remember, like, um, I had my uh, my cousin in the studio and everything, and, like, um, he got frustrated with me because, like, he kept on doing his verse. Like, it's funny, like, the, um, the song that we, um, I recorded with him, like, you can hear when he got frustrated. He just kind of, like, slammed his, um, his headphones on the mic, but, like, that was his best take. And I couldn't get that out, but like most, like I probably the only, only one that noticed it, but because I was in the Cause room, you know. yeah, because yeah. I was it in the room, because you know, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, because he, he got frustrated. I was like, do it again, do it again, do it again. But um, what what makes you um actually go out to actually seek for a manager? Because like there's a lot of people like they feel like they can do it on their own and stuff like that. What actually made you feel go out to seek a manager? You know what um my management was nothing but a blessing like my management like you know they say some things don't fall in your lap well this really literally fell in my lap you know and then i saw somebody that you know just really believed in me um you know shout out to my girl jennifer finch um that woman right there she believes i'm a star like to the utmost you know what i'm saying so when she um is everything okay can you yeah. hear me okay no, i was um, actually doing the lights the way you know even though she at the moment she wasn't even my manager and she wasn't asking me to be my manager the way she was pushing me promoting me and going so hard for me and speaking to people in the business about me 
it made me want to ask her, will you manage me? Because I want somebody like you that believes in me so much, you know, that's going to push, you know, my work that hard, you know what I mean, to be, to be going for me. So um, she, is, she is one of my managers, and I also have another co-manager um, out of Atlanta, Zaki, um, that's working really heavy out in the ATL. So with those two connects, she manages me very closely here while he's pulling the strings in Atlanta. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. And um, as far as um, branding and everything, because I know I see that you got your uh, slogan and everything. Let's it. You <laughs> like um, know. <laughs> how how um how is it important for um you feel like artists that are coming up to actually have that slogan or something like that to actually stand out? You know what? It's it's super 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 important because that's one thing. That's the first thing. And the easiest way for people to always remember you. And I remember when I first started, um, you know, performing and doing these open mics and stuff like that. You know, I was just doing what I love and just, you know, I didn't, I didn't know really where it was going to take me. I was just doing what I love. And, you know, I popped off with the, with the Flux With It uh, slogan online. And I was like, Flux With Me, blah, 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 whatever. And then all of a sudden I was going out the shows. And people were just walking up to me, and they were just like, flux with it. I flux with you. But you see how easy, even if they couldn't yeah. say my first name, you know what I'm saying? That was the, the hardest thing. They're like, I don't know how to say your first name, but I know how to say flux. So I flux with it. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So um, it definitely, definitely helps. I think everybody should have some type of branding, um, some type of slogan, um, you know, whatever you rep. So people... You know, it's just like you know, like like Beyonce, you know, and and the, the the beehives or whatever that she has. You know what I'm saying? And Nikki got the barbs. You you see what I'm saying? Everybody has um, their own trend, their slogan, whatever goes with them. So um, I, I think people want to relate to you in some way. So yes, definitely make some type of brand for yourself. <laughs> And as far as the um, social media, because like this is one thing that I've noticed with some artists is like. Um, they will have one name on, on Facebook, oh. one name on Twitter That's and stuff like that. Like, um, who are you? <laughs> right? Like, who are you, dude? You, you, this person on this social media and then this person on this outlet, like, I can't match you up. I'm not sure if that's the same guy or the mm -hmm. same chick, you know? Um, that's number one no no. Number one no no. Um, I think for me, um, I, don't, I don't know if I even knew that that was the right thing to do. I just did it since the beginning of time um i put mosca flux on everything because that's my name and i didn't see any reason to change it and that would be the easiest way for anybody you know to google me so if you google me any and everything that exists under the name mosca flux is going to pop up you know because it's all it, you know it's all under that name um it's very important for all of your names on all your social media to match so people can find you it's, it's nothing harder than somebody seeing you at an event and you say your name on stage, but then your IG is under some old other, you mm -hmm. know, whole another name or some other nickname. How are they going to, you know, how are they going to follow you? How are you going to get your followers up? And um, even, even if you don't actually um, give people your social media, like if they Google your name. It pops up. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You Google me everything. Everything in my mama pops up. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, as far as your um your body of work and everything, like um, are you working on any albums or anything, or do you uh, what are your um, past? You, uh, you know what? I'm I am a crazy Gemini, and I can't seem to sit still. I swear, because um, I am working on two things right now, and every time I make a song, I, I go back and forth with myself on like what project I'm gonna put this thing on, and then ultimately I'm not finishing a project, but. Um, you know, I got an album that I'm working on, and I've got a mixtape. The mixtape is um, Mosca Flux versus The Baroness. So with me being a Gemini, you know, I got this alter ego. You know, I got Mosca Flux. She's just pure hip-hop. And then I've got The Baroness. She's that sexy, edgy, crazy chick, that other side of me. Um, and then that mixtape is basically them two going head-to-head, -head, you know, kind of like... Um, like T.I. and T.I.D. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Kind of like that. But I had the idea first. He just dropped it for <laughs> me. Uh, that's how that happened. Um, and then I've got my album that I'm working on. And I, and I think the album is, is a lot more personal. You know, it's, it's a whole different side of me. And, it, and it's, called, um, it's called H2O. Um, yes, like, like water. <laughs> um, 
And I mean, it, it's not it's not because it's it's just water. It's just you know because everything flows. I'm an air sign, so everything flows just like water. And I'm and I'm releasing. You know what I'm saying? So with me releasing, you know, my real thoughts um, and my real emotions, and I think that's why I called it that. So you're gonna see a whole other side of, of Mosca on on that album versus the Mosca Flux versus the Baroness. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's that's what I was actually going to ask you as well. Is like, what was your thought process? Because like, you um have people like um, I don't know, like um, you have people like Fabulous and um, sometime um Method Man. Like they all they always go the hardest on their mixtapes, but you see a whole to- um different body of work when you actually come to there. It's basically um. I feel like the mixtapes are like just for the fans and then like the um album sometimes is just like a complete like to branch out to a different horizon or um doing that like kind of like the commercial side. Yeah, commercial side. Yeah. I, that there was yeah. another word that I forgot. I don't know why I'm Mainstream. forgetting. No, um I don't know why I'm forget, forgetting the um the um, actual word crossing over and stuff like that. True. Yeah. It's so a whole new audience. That's yeah. True. Yeah, yeah, to uh, branching out and stuff like that, because like um, you always want to um expand your horizons and everything like that. So is that basically what you're going to be doing with the al- album? Is trying to get a new following and stuff like that? You know what? Probably subconsciously, I did it that way, but that's just really the way you know it turned out. <laughs> you uh-huh. know, um, the album. I mean, for me, mixtape says, you know, uh, mixtape songs. You know what I'm saying? When when I was growing up, mix, the mixtape was just you go hard, you know, the, that, that MC just goes hard on every track, um, just give you some hot riding music and stuff like that. And like you said, the album is usually that complete body of work. So the album for me is just, you know, that, that other side of me, you know what I'm saying, to that, that complete package. Um, more of my intellect, you know, and, and, you know, just less of that go hard side of me, you know what I mean? But I, I think I think you're right. A lot of artists do that. I mean, you you look at Nicki um, and the Pink Print. Um, it was definitely not like what we hear on her features and how hard and snappy she goes on her features. And then on the Pink Print, print you saw like a softer side of her. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. And um, as far as another way to actually branch out to other art, um, audiences and everything, like how do you go about um, picking like what shows? Or are you going to do and stuff like that? Um, you know what? In the beginning, you probably should do every opportunity that's offered to you. You know, I, I don't think that you should knock any opportunity because whether it's, you know, 500 people in the audience or there's two people in the audience, one thing I learned from the beginning, um, and, I, and I learned this from other MCs, that no matter how many people are in the audience, you perform like there's there's a whole crowd you know what i'm saying you give it 100 percent because you know you could have been at a bigger venue and yes you might have gained a hundred new fans but still does that two fans that are standing in front of you today not count you know what i mean so you give them just as much as you would to those other hundred fans you see what i'm saying and those two people may be the ones that actually like buy your stuff out of those hundred people Mm -hmm. you see what i'm saying you just never know they'll buy your shirts so they'll follow you and they'll share your stuff you know you got real super heavy fans that are really committed so you know just don't ever knock any opportunity I, I think that as you grow I mean I think it's you know like they say it's insanity to keep doing the same things over and over yeah. again and if you are still doing the same things over and over again then, then maybe you need to reevaluate your situation but uh, with that being said I think that as, as you're taking every opportunity, you should be naturally growing. You know what I'm saying? You should be naturally growing your buzz where you're expanding into other cities and other towns and other states, et cetera. And um, the other thing that you uh, mentioned, like um, even like if there are two people in that crowd, like you never know who that one of those people are. Or who they know. Yeah. Because it's, it's kind of like the um, six degree of separation. You you know about the six degree of separation? No. <laughs> I'm not a liar. I don't know. <laughs> Six well, degrees of separation like is like um, <laughs> basically um, like um, when one person knows somebody else and can meet you, link you up with somebody else and stuff like that. That's the six degrees of separation. Oh, no, so no, like it all, it's, all, it's always somebody, yeah, that's what you just yeah said it's, it's, all, it's always <laughs> like six people away from meeting somebody else. Mm. I got so you. It, and then now that I think about it, like um, have you ever been on LinkedIn.com? 
Lincoln.com. Yeah, like that. That's basically like for businesses and stuff like that. And like they always oh, have it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah and they, they yeah, always yeah. um have it um connected where they show you like um how many people are you away from that other person to actually meet them. So I I, I don't I know like why. That. Yeah, I don't know why. I just thought because I thought and that's about just that. Just networking. Yeah, you know what I'm saying essentially that's just networking with the, and every show that you go to. I mean, even if you're not going to events to perform, this is one other thing where I see artists. Um, kind of slacking is that they they don't really they, they don't come out and support and even if you're not there to support come out for your for your damn self can I curse is that okay <laughs> if, if I'm not, a little, little bit a little bit okay yeah. well come out for for yourself <laughs> and promote yourself you is you had another event you know that event is popping you know people are going to be there you know there's fans there come out pass your flyers out pass your music out and in the same sense you are supporting you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying so you don't have to necessarily just come out to shows because you're performing or your best friend is performing you know come out and help yourself you know what I'm saying and keep your face on the scene I think that one thing we, we say out here is like ride that wave you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. when that wave is done you know what I'm saying like it, it, it's hard to jump back on so you need to ride that wave you know ride it till the wheels fall off uh, uh, um, be consistent trying to think if I should ask this question or wait till after. Yeah, I'm going to ask this question, right? Because um, you're actually the first person that I've actually interviewed that's actually um, got a nominated for the um, Carolina Music Awards and everything. Um, I nominated and I won. Yeah, nominated and won. <laughs> Sorry. It's a little flexy. A little flexy. Uh, I guess I should have mentioned that as well. Um, as far as that, because um, I've had um, people that um, have talked about um, not being nominated and um, people like you the first person like I said I talked to that has been nominated like how was that experience and everything and like how much um, work did you feel like you put in to actually get nominated and actually win in all honesty um, I'd say the first the first year I got nominated um, I think it was I think it was a surprise you know what I mean I, I mean I, I shared it and I asked people to nominate me and whatnot um, and I did get nominated. Then, uh, no, I'm sorry, I'm lying. Not the first year. This is probably the second, the second year. Because uh, the first year I got nominated for Best New Artist, right? I didn't win that year. The second year I actually won. And then I made a little video. I promoted it in the whole nine. You know, I made sure that people logged on and everything and were voting for me in the whole nine. Um, that feeling right there was amazing. Um, I performed, and shortly after I walked off the stage, they announced that I won. And, and, and let me tell you, like, the girls I was up against, you know what I'm saying, they made noise in North Carolina, you know what I'm saying? So it was a good feeling, not, not to beat them, but to, to, to win, you yeah. know what I'm saying, amongst the elite, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that day, I had my entire family with me. You know what I'm saying? So I had my mom, my husband, my kids come on stage with me. I was not playing. I was like, this, <laughs> all the nights I stay out late performing, all the days I got to go to the studio, you know, every every moment I spend, and, and I said this on stage, I said every moment I spend away from my family is for a moment like this. It's for a small moment of reward that, that just stayed sees you or recognizes you and your peers see you I mean it's not like I won a million dollars or I you know I got a signing contract or anything like that no but it's just the fact that you you are being recognized by your peers it's just like you do all this work and it is nice to get that little pat on the back you know what I'm saying okay 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 um I'm glad to go into a music break and everything right. and um then we're gonna come back and interview um I'm hearing from somebody that I'm, I'm been trying to fix it. I'm trying to see if they, um, the people that are watching on Facebook Live, is said that they're not it? they're not catching the audio. So I'm more, I'm actually working on that. But if you're um, listening on Spreaker, um, you're hearing the audio. You all can go on Facebook, look at the um, the visual and everything. Um, I'm I don't know exactly what happened, exactly what happened to the audio. But I'm about to go into some music. I'm gonna work on that and everything. Uh, first track that I'm about to play is um, Real Dynamite with uh, 50 Black Whips. This is Real Dynamite with 50 Black Whips. Benzin, Beamers, Porsches, Lads, Rovers, 
imports, stands out, carried out of this bitch on my super sad fly shit. You know it. Huh. Looking real crazy. <laughs>
Vamos pa' yo, vamos a limar, dale los pesos No, no, vamos, you hop, I don't need that for ya
like this Or something I could talk to you love that a twist You will regret it 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 You will
Oh yeah, um Oh yeah, um I, I did see that you um I, I did have see that you um you have been traveling up and down the east coast and everything with um, your tours and everything. Going to the, like um, how important is it like how important is it to actually travel as an artist and everything because like most people like have this comfort zone and stay in their own state and building their own state and building their brand in their own state like how important is it for an artist to actually expand their horizon and go out to other states trying to reach out to different fans it's very important I think that I think that it depends on the I think it depends on the artist and how far they're trying to take it how far they're trying to me personally, um, yes, this me is a love for me. Yes, this um, love for me. But eventually, um, I, I mean, I but eventually, I, I, I do want to make a living from it. Um, I, I think that um, I, I, I think that, that, that um, is even rare. That is something that's even rare. Yeah, they do got rappers proud of love. Yeah, they do got rappers proud of love. Right. Like me. Oh, I just love to write. Like, oh, I just, I just want to be rich. Oh, easy thing to do. Oh, let me rap. Then you don't um, want to travel. 
you do want to travel. travel. I mean, you I want the whole freaking globe. I mean, I want the whole freaking globe. I, mean, I don't want to be stuck you here. I don't want to be stuck like, here. Um, I, 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 I think that's just common sense. I, 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 I think that's just common sense. Only, like, only comfortable here. Only comfortable here. Yeah, it could be just for the love. Yeah, it could be just for the love. Or you're too scared to be and like, um, what was like the feedback? Yeah, like, what was like the feedback? Like, when you like, how other states received? Smiling. Received. You know what? Um, being honest with you, like, 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 Crazy, um, like I, w- I went to um, Harlem last year. I, w- I went to Harlem last year. By the time I left the building, everybody like, had on. By the time I left the building, everybody had on. I came in there, you know what I'm saying? I came in there, passed out my flies. One thing you must do is when you go out of state, you go out of town. You know what I'm saying? Like, like my team says, don't be naked. Like, like my team says, don't be naked. Bring your flies. Bring your words. Bring your flies. Bring your words. Bring your flies. 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 Bring that way they remember you when they follow you. That way they remember you when they follow you. That way, way to you know track you down. Um, when I got there, and since I was so well prepared, I was standing out like this with them. They were just little Carolina and shit, you know. They're like, you shine. I mean, I had some MCs, and I mean, I was up there with some of the best of the best, and they'd be like, you shine in my city, like, and I mean, they was like, you know, but you know, for them to say that was, but you know, for them to say that was, that means that I come in. That means that I came in and I did my thing and represented and I also came well prepared. Please please represent your city. Please represent your city (laughs) with respect. You know what I mean? So they don't take you as a joke as well. Okay, okay, okay. And um, you mentioned uh, merchandise and everything. You mentioned all merchandise and everything. Like, what type of merchandise you actually travel with? I think everybody should. I mean, everybody don't got to. I mean, everybody don't got to. Whatever you have, you know what I'm saying. Whatever you have, whatever you have. If it's music, demo, t-shirts, flyers, t-shirts, with all your, flyers with, with all your, your, you know, all your links, all your your web, your website, whatever your upcoming stuff. Take it with you. Anything that you so have, where people can still. Anything that you have, where people can still follow you. That's the whole point. Everything is. Everything is in that bound. You know, everything is in that bound now. So you know, you want to leave something behind. I just leave my stuff behind. I just leave my stuff behind, like right around. I just walk in there. I do my flyers all over the world. I don't care if you hit the show or not. You go see my face on the bar. You know, and eventually you're gonna stare at it. So after so many drinks, you're like, ooh, look at this person up. What um social media platforms? What um social media platforms do you actually use? Like, which one is more effective for you? Hmm. Effectiveness. Effectiveness. You know what? I'm a Facebook girl. Um, what I'm a Facebook girl. Um, my Instagram is popping. Um, but Instagram you know, is popping. Um, you know, I have Instagram, um, Twitter, Tumblr, 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 yeah, I, I know like um when that yeah, was I know like when that was kind of getting about like it's yeah it's kind of instant um getting personal kind of with somebody's getting life and everything like, most, most of the time most people are there selling them snapchat and everything so you get to know them personally and um kind of like I always um bring this up in the conversation like I always bring this up in the conversation like I always bring this up in the conversation like I always bring this up in the conversation like I always bring this up in the conversation like I always bring this up in the conversation like I always bring this up in the conversation like I always bring this up in the conversation like I always bring this up in the conversation like I always bring this up in the conversation like I always bring this up in the conversation like I always bring this up in the conversation like I always bring this up in the conversation like I always bring this up in the conversation like I always bring this up in the conversation like I you actually also can get, uh, also get uh, and everything. feel of branding. Like sometimes, sometimes you do get that. Like that. Sometimes you do get that in a personal with, with some of them. Or, or, or some of them uh, are you get that fake, personal but, personality. Uh, you get that with some personal of personality with like, some of them um, and everything. Like, um, I know that they were talking about it. I know that they were talking about it. I don't actually know what happened with it. Don't don't know what happened with it. They were talking about like, like, would that be something that you would be interested in? Like, would that be something that you would be interested in? Like, doing a reality show or anything? Like, doing a reality show or anything? It's crazy that you mentioned that because... It's crazy that you mentioned that because... 
I am actually going to be doing a show. It's not going to be reality TV. It's not going to be reality TV. I can't really say because there's something out of the bag. There's contracts in the place. It's really serious. It's a situation. It's really serious situation. So, It's kind of crazy that um like the, crazy that, um, like, I think, the, like two like, two, two artists that were one and done on those shows that were one and done on those shows branched out and their music actually became I don't know how many times K Michelle was on. I don't know how many times K Michelle was on there. She kind of took advantage of that. She kind of took advantage of that. And then left when you see some of them that kind of linger on. She kind of took advantage of that. And then left when you see some of them that kind of linger on. You always see them in the studio, but you never see the music come out. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
for your he actual talent. For, for your, your actual talent. For your nurses. Always, always, always go hard. Always go hard. It's a point where, you know, I mean, it's a point where, you know, he broke me down. It was just like, he broke me down. It was just like, like my manager. It's kind of like my management now, you know, here. To you this go point, from here like, to this point, point, you're like, I'm doing great, I'm doing good, you know, my city loves me, everybody loves with me, and this, that, and the third, I'm tithing, and so somebody tells you, you know what, I see your full potential, even if you think you're there, you're not there yet, and I can take you here, and then it's hard, and that's hard, because you're like, you know what, I think I'm doing everything right, but you know what, there's nothing wrong with growth. True, 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 and like, that is um one of the things. Yeah, that's um, one of the things um, where you see where some artists don't grow because they can't take that criticism. And like they, they're kind of stuck in their own ways. And like they're kind of stuck in their own ways and everything. Oh. And you mentioned about your husband and everything being MC and everything like that. Like, you know, you know, you know, like um, do you... um? Like you, um, sometimes, like, like feel, sometimes, like, feel, like, I know what, like, most of the time, like, it's, I know it's, like, kind of, it's harder for females because, it's kind of, like, it's harder for females because, most like, females are just looked at as a most sex females are just looked at as a sex like symbol and stuff like that. Is he like, how supportive is he with that? You know what, um, you know what, um, the sex symbol situation really, the sex symbol situation really, really, come into play really hasn't even like come into play. Like, I'm first now, it's probably how I am just going at my shoulder. I'm 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 at my shoulder. You know, that you look like at people, people like, you know, that are like party game now, you know, like party like or Nikki and stuff like that. You probably rarely catch you probably them. Rarely them. Yeah. Right? Right. Right. So, right? You probably rarely catch them, right? Just like society, right? Right? So, as a so, female MC, um, that, 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 Yes, that, 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 True, true, true. Um, one of the things that um, one of the things when that talk, um, this is a while ago. I talked talk, to um, this is a while ago. I talked to um, yeah, Prince Princess, Princess on yeah, digital, Princess, from, um, Princess Prime, on digital from um, um, Prime. Mom. We we talked um, about how we we talked about how. For real. <laughs> Oh, um, I, I thought she was one of. Um, um, I, I thought she was one of. Um, Diamonds the one that. Because I know that um, Diamonds the one that branched out on there. Well. But I thought she was but, pretty um, dope. But one of the things that we talked about when I talked to her is that he always seemed like in the rap game, with the female MCs, they always had a rap game. The female MCs, they always had to have a male cosign. Well, what do you think about that? And like, well, what do you think about that? And like, I'm having like, well, like the first female to come out. That doesn't MC have a male MC co-signer just to be um get out there. So you don't think that is going to be possible? So you don't think that is going to be possible? It is going to be possible. It's like having the first female like having the first female president. You know what I'm saying? We not. You know what I'm saying? We not. We not there yet. Unfortunately, the game is very male dominated. is still very male dominated, which is why my last statement was it has to be done. We're not at a point where, like, we're not at a point you know, where, where now today, you know, women now today be regular like this and, and be not regular have like this and, and not have that sex symbol um, aspect for back in the day um, when hip hop was a little back more the day pure, when hip hop was a little more pure. You understand we had Queen Latifah. You understand we had Queen Latifah. You know, we had people like Warren Hill. You know, we had people like Warren Hill. You know, my favorite. You know, they didn't have to do it. You know what I'm saying? But now the way the industry is now. You almost it's have like, no choice. You almost have, you no, have choice. no choice. And even you even the pure choice and even even the purest MCs, purest MCs, the purest MCs are having to change, you know, are having to change, you know, the presentation, and the swag, you know what I'm saying? Because Just that's to be yourself. Because that's back then, 
you know, back then, so much internet. We, we didn't have so much internet. We didn't have, so uh, you know, so avidly and things like that. So avidly and things like that. Everything was so visual. The only thing that you, got, thing that you, you got was the videos that you saw on TV and on B E T. And if you liked the song, you liked the video, whatever you heard it on the radio, you liked the song, it matter what the video looks like. Now we have so much visual. You have no that choice, but you have but no you choice, have to be but attractive but to have to be attractive because in a that's what way. actually selling. Because that's what's actually selling. That was the visual, and not the selling. True, right? true. To, to, um, one of the things that um, um, one like, a lot of times people like, like, try to get on females and everything, that they don't um, get along but like as far as Carolina um, but, music like, as far as Carolina music and everything, one of the things that I've actually noticed is that because like y'all had that female cipher and everything, I've noticed that a lot of the female musicians not just hip hop and R and B, they stick together. Like they stick together. What is it that y'all can do in that network? Can, like, form with, that network like I said, all females have so, like, bad like I said, all females have bad rap like, 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 like they don't get involved with each other. I look at the like, male aspect on the side, like, like I don't see the males actually clapping, like I see the females in North Carolina clapping. I'm so sorry, man. Men been acting real petty in the last few years. They've been acting like no disrespect. No disrespect. Um, I'm, lie, amongst the I'm women, not gonna lie. Amongst the women in in C, in you know, in C, you know, there's tension. You know what I'm saying? There's, there's always tension, tension, but I think you know what I'm there's always the tension. But I think women the is thing that about women is that we still know how to handle this. You know we, we are serious about our craft. We are serious about our craft. Like you don't matter. You, you don't like me. I don't like you. You know what? If we here to make a hit, you know what I'm saying? That's what we came to do. What you do don't affect me and what I do shouldn't affect you. With men, I think that men, I think that with girls are kind of almost the ego factor. The ego factor play a whole lot. With women, a whole lot. With women used to be that way, you know, real petty and stuff like that. We have come to a point where we're not kind of just everybody is kind of kind of just everybody is kind of in their own lane. Everybody's like train track. on their own train track. Everybody is just you on that track. I'm on this track. You on that track. I'm on this track. You on that track. I'm not worried about what you're doing. You're not worried about what I'm doing. And I think that's how everybody should be. When I get into the mainstream, when I get into the mainstream, like in the van, like party and stuff like that, and people see the stuff like that, and people see the you know, I don't know if it's just the internet. You know, they kind of like female artists against each other, female artists against each other, because I probably see it more, you know, when I at a higher level than I do locally amongst the women. To be honest with you, but I plan to stay the same. But I plan to stay the same. You know what I'm saying? No matter what nobody else is doing, I want to stay in my lane and do what I do best. And, and, and I think that's that's safe. And, 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 and I think most women have grasped that. And that's how we and that's how we work together. We didn't work together. You know, it's not being just passing. You know, it's not being passing and being cordial with one another. Take heat. Take note. As far as um collaborations, as far as and everything, um, collaborations like, with your album and everything, like are there any album features that we can hear with you on the album? Um, on my album? Yeah. Uh, on my album? Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if you want to hear it. My albums, you know, I'm sorry, I'm selfish. My albums, when I think about it, my album is this. My album is just me. My album is just me. I've got plenty of features that haven't dropped yet. That haven't dropped yet. That haven't dropped yet. Big names that haven't dropped yet. And I got some local names that I'm thinking about putting on the album. Everybody's inside. <laughs> 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 you know, I thought that summertime work just starting. 
Yeah. Ain't, ain't nothing wrong with that because um, yeah, yeah. J. Cole, Cole don't went platinum. J. Cole don't went platinum two times with no features. So. You know why he probably didn't do it on purpose. You know why he probably yeah. didn't do it on purpose. Probably in the yeah. time. I didn't think about that until you actually just said that. that. Yeah, like a lot of people um, um yeah, yeah, like a lot of people um, didn't really notice talked it. about it. Like I didn't really notice it because like one of the ones that um I thought that he said he had no features. I thought was on it, but it was that. Kendrick Lamar was on it, but it was that actually was before that. So, yeah, he probably didn't um, do it on purpose. Yeah, he probably didn't do it on purpose. It shows but like raw talent. Shows like, like raw talent you when you can actually do a whole. Cause like you yeah, see so many so albums. albums that have yeah, you have so many albums that have blood and with that features. Person just always has like and then that person just always has like six like like bars on, on it and stuff like, like that. Um, um, because like um. Got which Carter it was that um, which Carter it was that um, Little Wayne had Little Wayne had each track and it just feel like each track and it just feel like each track somebody just went in on him on on his home track like I like people body like I like people body you on your track yeah you put body them on the track then you never had that track I've never had that problem but I've seen people on the track on the track the track all of a sudden track disappear or you. How do you feel about the um, um, how do you feel about the um, talked about um, J. Cole and everything like, um, and everything, um, like um, I feel like he cracked the door I feel like he cracked the door and then like um, artists and you had then, like um, um, music mom which um, music I've been a fan of which um, Jay I've been a fan of um, Jay Gunn Josh Gunn for since 2006 just seeing him just and like just seeing him just he felt like I was involved because like he felt like I was the concert that I saw in it was um the clips and um and um, and, uh, Wale. Wale. and I became a friend of Wale. And I became a friend of Wale that night as well. As well. As but like just seeing him involved as well, as well. As he has done his independent role. And then like role. when, um, then, like, Bow, when came um, Carolina, Bow Wow came, came back to North Carolina, like, and how do you see him go out? Like how do you feel about the whole North Carolina scene as a whole right now? And like do you feel like people are like taking advantage of this exposure? Are they taking advantage of it? You know what? I don't know what anybody else is doing. I don't know what anybody else is doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, what I'm doing. Um, what I'm doing. Um, to be white, frankly, 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 or just come out of Atlanta left or right, but because they work together, they push together, they stand up, they team up together, and then they get that one person in the door, and then that person, it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's just a rope. They start pulling on everybody else that came with them that pushed them to the top. That's how we're supposed to do it. When I went to New York and I met with the other artists there, they were always like how we are here in NC, but their situation was a little reversed because what they expressed to me was that in NY, there's, so there's so many rappers, it's hard for them to stand out. And here, since we're a little smaller, yeah, we have a lot of rappers, but probably not as many as in New York, of course. You know what I'm but on the level that we're on, it's, it's little, it's, you know, artists that we have in mm -hmm. crazy talent, crazy talent in North Carolina. There's no reason why there's handful, literally like handful of MCs or R and B or is let them get together and push. You know what I'm saying? Like we should have been put N C on the map on a whole nother level. No matter who comes out of N C, you know what I'm saying? Rapsley and Jake Gundo or or Jake Cole or whoever, you know what I'm saying? 
they don't know everybody in this week, you know what I'm saying? And truth be told, when J. Cole was out here rapping and stuff like that, I mean, it was probably, I mean, he was in open mics and stuff like that. I know, I know my husband, you know, did battles with him back in the day in Chapel Hill and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? People won't jump on him until he blew. But everybody had to go somewhere else to blow. And that's the crazy thing about You know what I'm saying? That's the crazy thing about it. We're not really blowing out of NC. That's why NC artists really don't have faith in NC and stuff. Even myself, I'm like, I gotta get out of it. You know what I'm saying? I gotta go somewhere else and venture out. Because like I told you earlier, when I went, I got crazy. I went up north. I'm walking around with my hair when I walked in the city of Manhattan and I had this shirt on, everybody and their mama was like, what? Quit it. Oh my God, I love your skirt. You know what I'm saying? My girl is out in PA. She's in Pittsburgh. She's rocking plus with it. Everybody's stopping her. The brand is crazy. But you know what? The thing about that is that here, it's almost like, since they know it's tied to me, it's like, it's so small. Everybody's small. Like, like, I can't support you like that. It's not enough fans to outweigh the rappers. You know what I'm saying? When you're in bigger cities, there's enough fans to outweigh the artists. So people want to rock with you. You know what I'm saying? So they see the shirt. They have no idea it's tied to any artist or any name or any of the above. And they're like, yo, I just like the shirt. Then you see the purity in your creativity. But you know what? I did make something great. You know what I'm saying? Even if I'm not getting love for it here, especially when you're just here, Everybody sees it on a regular basis, and then after, the, you know, after a few months, then, oh, that was a cool thing yesterday. It ain't even cool no more. People just fall off and stop supporting. You know what I'm saying? You don't have that consistent support. And that's the thing here. Nobody is consistent. So, that's our issue here. That's my view on North Carolina. I love my city. I love NC. I'm going to rep it to the fullest no matter how far or where I go. You know what I mean? But that's just one thing that we all need to do as as, as a unit, as a state. Is, like you said, everybody knows somebody, knows somebody. You believe in that one person, you, know you, that person, you, know that person you feel that person, you know, got that sound, that commercial sound or whatever to really make it. Yeah, you took a lot of words out of my mouth. You took like, a lot of words out of my especially mouth. Like, like, that's, 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 especially that's, like, that's, 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 that's like with Atlanta and everything. Especially like with Atlanta and everything. Even like if Atlanta rappers are beefing with another Atlanta rapper, like you'll see them gather together and help them squash that beef. Because like we might all be talking about Because like you had T.I. and T.I. and you had T.I. and or Shorty Low and stuff like that. Or Shorty Low and stuff like that. You see so many documentaries on so many documentaries on Atlanta, and then you also have Houston. Like, um, and everybody try to be the like, um, king of New York, but then at the same time, you see them go hard on tracks. Like, that's, 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 like another that. that like, that's, that's another thing that I love about Atlanta. That's another thing that I love about Atlanta. You have so many collaborations with everybody. You have so many collaborations with everybody. It was a fun thing. Like, everybody just went into the studio and just went at it. Like, another thing, like, with the Wu Tang, like, you have so many people in that group. Like, like they, they competed with each other. Like they competed with each other. <laughs> like they competed with each other in a fun way, yeah, though. Right, right. Yeah. But love and respect, you know. You know what? Rappers are so emotional now. I'm too sensitive. I'm too sensitive. That is so loud. But. That red wine talking about. I'm being honest. I'm being honest. You know, um, I, I, you know what's crazy? You know, I watched an interview with Jay Z, and he also said it. You know, when he said that future line about, you know, what I'm saying they could possibly, you know, be, you know, be, you know, be, would have worked it out or whatever. And he would have been in a future situation. You know, stepfather in his child's life. You know, and. and Oh, yeah. Clarify that. She was like, oh, you yeah. like, yeah. so, You know, everybody's like, yeah. So he's like, nah. It just happened to play off his name. You know what I'm saying? But it was a fact. And it did relate to that situation. And no, I don't want to be in the shoes. But everybody's too sensitive now. In rap. You can't even say something real without you being in your feelings about it. 
That's what hip hop was meant but for. That's the one thing about um, Jay Z. The one thing about um, Jay Z is, is, is that people king, say so that he's a subliminal like, king. So everybody's like, always trying to find. Everybody's something. always trying to find something. Yeah. I ain't heard that before, but like he, he, yeah. he's, he's um like always he, like um he's like a, always like, like, like um like a lady talk about like him taking stabs and Drake, and, and, so and, Drake like, and they and always try to pick so something like, from what he said, but like his his last album, but like his yeah. last album, but like um his last album, like but like um his last album, like I'm not a big um Jay Z fan, but like his last album dropped a lot of knowledge on the game and stuff like that. Um, so um, so. Um, so, we could be wrapping up on um, to the, coming we up, to the, up on to the coming up to the towards the end of the show. Is there anything that we haven't touched on tonight, that, tonight that you want people to know about you? Um, um, you know what? Um, what? Um, what do I know? What do I want you to know? What do I know? What do I want you to know? I want you to know that. I want you to know that. It ain't what you. It ain't what you. It ain't what you. It ain't what you, it ain't what you think you see. Yeah. It, it's, it's deeper than rap it's, it's deeper than rap music I'm an MC, um, I love what I do I'm an MC, I love what I do It's my passion, my love It's my life work It is what I work towards Many years, years. Yeah. Ten years And so, yeah. and so I'm, fun, I'm fun, I'm funny I'm kind, I'm loving I'm even mean sometimes You know what I'm saying? But I'm a real person And And, and the same the same, you know, this ain't just entertainment. You know, this ain't just yeah, entertainment. This is real life. Just, you know, I think people watch us um, just for the entertainment. Oh, what you gonna do next? You know what I'm saying? Um, this is entertainment. This is my real life. This is what I do. This is what I live. The things I, live. Um, the things I talk about. Um, I really do them. You know what I'm saying? I don't. Um, I'm one of those. I rare few that I actually say, do the things I that I say. Things that I, I talk about the things I that I do. The life that I, I live the life that I portray. I don't front. I don't do stunt. Flex. And if I do flex, it's um, because I can't. But I earned that um, right. I earned that, right. that 100%. I'm saying I earned that 100%. Nothing. I came from nothing. And I think people sometimes see you, and this is not, this is not even my ending, this is my beginning, you know what I'm saying, where I am now is just my beginning, but to them, this is, oh, you've evolved to this level, you know what I'm saying, and you think you this, or you think you that, and uh, you both school, or you're this, that, and the third, don't get that misconstrued or confident, you understand, or the fact that you're proud of your accomplishments, I think that, we all have to write it. And as we grow and we continue, and um, I've got a long journey ahead of me. Like I said before, this is just my beginning. And um, keep watching. Stay tuned. Guys, follow me. Most of Flux, M O S C A F L D X on everything or most of Flux.com. I, I, I. And the one I, thing that you I, I, um, mentioned and, and the one thing that, that you all um, mentioned and everything, um, like, investing um, in your craft um, and everything, because like, um, I, I think like, I, 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 um, I glanced I over an article. I glanced where, over an article. I don't even know how to pronounce his name. I don't even I just know how to pronounce his name. I just know that he spells black with a six in front of it. So I'm not sure how he's. So I'm not sure how he's. How he pronounces his name or anything. Maybe. But um, he said that. But um, yeah, he said that um. Yeah, it said that um, it took him eight years to make money, off, him the the to make money off the um, the rap game. And like um, and I, t- I, talk, like, I talk um, about this um, I, t- I talk I talk about this um story, and, and somebody told me I need to stop talking. Uh, my about boy this Q, like, uh, my like, boy Q, he said he was um, he's a he PR. He said he was um, he's a PR and everything, and he sent me the track for um, Fetty Wap, um, Fetty Wap. Um, track I, I've said yeah. it before. I thought I, it was I've garbage. said it before. I thought, I thought it was thought garbage when I heard it, it, and I thought it was joking when he said it. That man pushed that single. That like man pushed that single for like two high. years before it got. And high. like I remember, like I was sitting there, and like and I, I remember, like I was sitting there, and I was listening to it on radio. Like I've heard this song before. That song was actually older. Yeah. Like he, he yeah, pushed that one like single. He so pushed long, that like one single that so long. Like he believed in it that, that much. That one single. That he pushed that one single. That's why you have to be consistent. Um, one thing that rappers, they, um, biggest rappers, 
I'm gonna make like as much music. I'm gonna make like as much music I can possibly make. You know what I'm saying? Think about it. When you really think about it, you gotta have that one single, that one hit, and you continue to push that no matter what show or what event you do. Someone in the crowd knows that song. You know what I'm saying? Like I got Dame Spacio. You know what I'm saying? Most people don't know that song is three years old. You know what I'm saying? But that's a hit thing. And that's a hit for just like you know what I'm saying? Just like Trap Queen. And every show that I do. And every show that I do, they're like, oh, you have someone in the crowd that's like, oh, I, I've heard that song from her before. Even if everything else is brand new on the set, they've heard that song before and they start singing. Don you leave space. Now all of a sudden you've created a wave in that audience and everybody else is doing it too because you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? If somebody else, if one person in the, in the audience start rocking with you, so it's not about necessarily how much music you make, you know what I'm saying, but how consistent you are with pushing that thing, with how you believe it, like you said, that's, that's a real story right there, you know, Trap Queen was, I don't even know, I, I think it's older than two years. Cause um, my boy, um, Snipe, my like, boy, um, Snipe, like, um, he's touring with, um, Chris Gotti, or if Gotti's better, um, Chris Gotti, or if Gotti's better, when I told him that, in that story, when I told him that, in that story, he said that, Chris Gotti actually heard that song, too, before he became a pop player, he didn't like it, 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 he it's trash. It's trash. Sometimes when I'm just like, I can't rock with this. I don't like. They're like, trust me. Okay. Do this. Don't do that. 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 Don't do that ever written, you know what I'm that saying, artists, were songs that that artist mm. did not believe they themselves that did they themselves like. really did not like, that. and I really didn't you know, know that until now in learning the business, like because, you like I told you earlier, you want to do what you want to do, as an artist, you want to do what you want to do, but you have your you, own personal ear, you have your own personal ear, but you don't have the ear for the masses. And they are people that are gifted to have the ear for the masses. And they tell you, listen, this is what people are going to want to hear. This is what they're going to like, even if you don't like it. And this ain't your lane or whatever. You'll be good at doing it, and you'll kill it, and you'll sell. Yeah, because um, my other boy, uh, Madison, um, my like, other boy, uh, Madison, like, um, he, he had one track be, that he thought that hit. was going to be People didn't receive hit. that, and then, like, People he had another track, that, and then, like, he had another track that, um, He didn't really feel like was the one, but He didn't really feel like, like was the one, but that was the one that people received. Yeah. It's always one you don't like. Yeah. That's how it goes. You know what I'm saying? That's how it goes. You can't control, um, what your audience receives you, that's from you, you know what I'm saying, but you got to remember as, as an artist that what you like personally is what you like personally, you know what I'm saying, but that doesn't mean that that's going to be your mainstream hit, so uh, you know, be open-minded at all times, and one thing, one thing that I try to do is observe my audience, so when I'm on stage and I perform, I perform certain songs, I wait to see their reaction, how they receive it, you know what I'm saying? Do they follow me, you know what I'm saying, all the way through with the song? Are they still alive with me the whole way through? Or are they kind of just mellow, you know what I'm saying? Or is this next song, do they get really tight? Do they like, you know what I'm saying? You do all that when you're on stage. And all um, mainstream uh, artists is doing you know, the same thing. Like, 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 like I see them on social media. Like, they um, yeah. will act when their album fans, drops. They ask their fans, which one should I release, one should I release as like my that. single next, and stuff like that. So, that's just the easiest so, thing. so, like here, listen to that album. Like here, listen to that album. What do you think is a single? 
If you got twenty thousand people telling you track number three is hot, uh, yeah, listen to them. Don't go with track number six. You know what I'm saying? Go with track number three. I mean, I think it's common sense. No matter what you think, um, at the end of the day, you're not just making music for yourself. And I think that's what we all make kind of that mistake that uh, you know, and, and I, I did it myself personally because. I love music so much, and sometimes I just make music for myself. But you gotta remember, you gotta, um, but you gotta, remember, you gotta make music for somebody else. You gotta make it relevant to somebody else. You gotta make them feel. You know what I'm saying? The music. That's what the music is all about. Well, I appreciate you coming through. Well, I appreciate you coming through and chopping it up with me and everything. Uh, one, more time, with me and everything. Uh, one more time, can you give people your social media and everything? Absolutely, and thank you so much for having me. You guys have treated me so well. No, we personally know I love wine. Treat me great. Please make sure that you follow Quarantine Radio, okay? That you tune in. Quarantine Project. Quarantine and Quarantine Project. Quarantine is Project. Dot com, yeah. Dot com, okay? And that you also follow me on MosesLuck.com, and that's M O S C A F L U S. Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter. Everything. Twitter right, as well. Right. Okay? Right, right. I appreciate that. Appreciate right. that. I appreciate that. Appreciate that. And like you said, make sure you go to quarantineenterprise.com. It has everything to everything. Our the speaker, our YouTube, our Twitter, or our Facebook, and everything. Make sure that if you're listening on speaker right now, make sure you hit that follow button and everything. Keep up to date with each um, show and everything. Um, other than that, I appreciate everybody tuning in. Um, I got to actually check to see who we have on the show for next Tuesday. But once again, appreciate you um, tuning in. This show has been quarantined. We'll see y'all Tuesday.
Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.